Hello YouTube, welcome back to my video. In this video, I am going to show you how you can export a MySQL table into a CSV file or comma separated value file using Java. Okay, so in my previous video, I have uh, shown you how you can create a simple C uh, CSV file using your own content and you can create it using Java. So the video link is in the description. So here we will be exporting one complete uh, table uh, into a CSV file. So one of the advantage of uh, this uh, uh, creating a CSV file is as the CSV file is platform independent it will work in uh, Linux or uh, Windows or any other platform so uh, you can have a simple uh, data I mean the cross cross platform data transfer very easily okay so uh, this is the program uh, which I have explained in my previous video how you can create the CSV file so with this data uh, this have uh, created a, a CSV file like like a book table this one okay book table CSV okay now this is a normal uh, CSV file now I'm going to connect to my uh, MySQL database and I'm going to export one of the table as I told so I'm going to connect to your MySQL database so this is my mysql client the client name is heidi sql portable you can have this uh, free of course uh, just google uh, like uh, heidi sql portable okay now i have a mysql database named book db where there is a table names books table named books where i have this much uh, data with the table has uh, uh, the columns like book uh, sl number book title category name uh, other name and publisher name like this okay so i'm going to export this into a csv file using uh, java okay so this is uh, uh, the program or the source code which i have explained uh, before now the first one uh, while uh, doing uh, the this connect i mean uh, exporting this uh, database as csv file is we have to connect to uh, our mysql database so we need a connection class where we can directly connect to our mysql database okay so i'm going to create a, a connection class the class name i'm giving it as uh, uh, db connection okay so inside this i am going to paste uh, the connection class content uh, so i'll explain that yes have just uh, pasted the connection class code actually there is a method inside this db connection uh, class the connection uh, the method name is get connection and it is returning a connection object with uh, the uh, local database connection so this is a directly connecting connecting to the database name books db and this is the username and this is the password of my mysql local host mysql database okay now we have to import a mysql java file into this uh, java class path so that we can import these uh, classes uh, from that java file okay so to import that to, to add that java file into my class path just right click on uh, the project where you can see build path and go to configure build path where you can see the in the java build path section where you can see libraries just click on add external jars okay now navigate to the location where your mysql jar is there yes this is my mysql java file just double click on that so it will be imported to your uh, class bar and just click ok ok now just press control space here you can import it from com.mysql from jdbc and driver manager is also from uh, no this is not jdbc this is actually sql yeah sql this one and sql exception is also from sql okay yes the connection is okay i guess to test the connection we can simply create a main method here and create an object for this uh, class and we can simply uh, call this get connection and see what is coming okay so if it connection is successful you will get a random string there which is actually the connection information yes you can see the connection is okay now if i'm just uh, uh, changing my uh, username as root one it should not connect and it will give us an error message yes you can see so access is denied means our username or password is wrong okay yes so connection is successful now from here i'm going to call that connection here okay so we can create a connection object here so it's from java.sql 
connection equal to null now I'm going to call the DB connection object here so it will be like DB connection equal to new DB connection and you can call that connection equal to obj db connection dot get connection okay so we got the connection uh, of our mysql database here okay now we have to create a query to get uh, the data from the table so the query will be uh, select star from books okay the table name is books it will be like select star from books and now we can create a, a prepared statement object and call execute this query into a result set okay so it will be like results you have to create a result set object yes like the result is r is equal to null yes i have just updated the code you can see here i have created a query and i have uh, created a prepared statement from the i am calling that query and uh, i am executing this uh, query and getting the uh, all data into a result set okay and then iterating all uh, the result set and to get each value and by the uh, end of each iteration and appending uh, the next line string variable string value here and i'm just uh, ex i mean i am uh, just finishing that here by writing that uh, string uh, this one uh, the string builder uh, into that file and that is the final message you'll get as finished okay now we can uh, this I'm giving the name as book table one so that file name will be book table one created okay now let's try executing this one just go to run as and just select java application yes execution has finished and let's go to the csv file and uh, this is the csv file book table one dot csv let me open it in my note i mean in the excel and see yes all the table has been uh, exported into the csv file there are 52 uh 52 rows i think yeah there are 52 rows okay so all the data has been exported into the csv file okay if you're opening that in your notepad plus you can see all that file is uh, actually as uh, the comma separated values okay so hope you got this uh, how you can export a mysql table into a csv file using java so i have explained step by step if you have any doubt in this please comment below i'll be helping you i'll share all my source code in my description you can have it and please like and subscribe for my videos and thanks for watching